Today we're playing ranked seasons using Bryce Harper. He's got max power versus righties. I'm using players with max power versus at least one side. If you're here watching this video, I would love to see in the comments section, what do you like to see from MLB The Show gameplay videos? Do you like to see highlights? Do you like to see every single ounce? Is there anything specifically you enjoy watching when it comes to MLB The Show gameplay videos? Let me know. That'd be great down in that comment section. But like I've said, we've got a full team of players with max power versus at least one some of them both sides in the leadoff spot we have lightning tatis max power versus righties finest harper also max power versus righties batting second and mike trout same thing versus righties juan soto maxed out versus both sides same with sammy sosa same with ken griffey jr same with jimmy fox same with nolan gorman and then nolan arenado max power versus lefties in that number nine spot on the bench ready to go a backup catcher mike napoli we've got the world series mvp jorge soler this lightning tyler o'neill and then this snapshot series ryan howard i'm going with the finest corbin burns on the mound we're facing that snapshot series i love that card art the nolan ryan with his horse the cowboy hat on and everything home team though so we get a pitch first harper's do up second in the bottom half of our first inning Good start for Corbin Burns. One batter, one strikeout. This might sound like a dumb question, but when y'all are pitching, do you use the pitcher's primary pitch most often? Because when I've been struggling with Corbin Burns recently, I've tried using his cutter more, and it seems like I've had more success when I'm relying more on a pitcher's primary pitch. Maybe that sounds obvious, though. As we're one strikeout away, one strike away, from a scoreless a perfect top of the first inning and we got it oh what a pitch painting that corner like he's bob ross tatis and then that finest harper coming up striking out with tatis just like my opponent's half of the first starting with a strikeout let's hope harper can make things a little bit different and now we got a full count to harper his first ab Oh, up the middle, but the shift had him. Just didn't quite get that PC out of the ball, but 97 off the bat, hit it hard. And then Trout with the perfect perfect to break up the perfect game and the Noah hitter. Let's maybe start a two-out rally here. Our cleanup hitter, Lightning Juan Soto, max power versus righties and lefties. Full account to Juan Soto. And it's ball four. All right, so we got two runners on for Sammy Sosa with two outs here. And then we strike out. That 100 mile an hour fastball from Nolan Ryan is kind of nasty. We got our first hit out of the way, our first base runner. Let's see if Corbin Burns can keep us pitching as we just try to get the hitters back up, try to get that Bryce Harper back up. Striking out Cal Raleigh. Corbin Burns is kind of nasty. He was one of my favorite pitchers last year. And I'm enjoying the finest version of him this year. I thought we were striking out Nolan Gorman. Tatis should make this play. It's out number two in the second. And we strike out Lightning Tyler O'Neill. Pretty good first two innings for Corbin Burns. Ken Griffey Jr., the core version from the Extreme program, leading off our half of the second. And yeah, that 100 mile an hour fastball has me frozen so far i was finishing the br program last night and i was doing something at the plate that was working out at least for br on all-star this is hall of fame difficulty but i was watching until two strikes except i was also ready for pitches down the middle in case it really seemed like i could hit it but watching until two strikes right there we just drew a walk now nolan gorman is in a 1-0 count and he's throwing down to second base when 70 speed isn't even trying to steal and it's already a 2-0 count now so with nolan ryan somebody that doesn't have the best control maybe watching until two strikes could be a good idea and now we got two strikes and it is a full count to nolan gorman his brother nolan arenado is on deck Still just got to work on catching up to that triple digit fastball two ounce my number nine hitter up So if we don't get Bryce Harper another AB in this inning, he's no matter what do up in the bottom of the third 
I thought we had a homer. Oh, we had good timing on the 102 fastball, but I didn't move the PCI up into the left enough. We barely missed it. We've had some decent swings around the baseball a bit. Corbin Burns looking for another scoreless inning, and then Harper's due up second in our half of the third. Chuck Nasty to Arenado, out number one. Tatis, oh, he gets there. I was almost going to die for that. I'm glad we didn't. Out number two. And now Tim Raines. Y'all have been telling me I should try this card. Again, this might be a dumb question, but how do you get this 99 Tim Raines? Where does he come from? Because I loved The Rock, the Incognito series of Tim Raines. And I would love to use a 99 version. As we strike him out, Jimmy Fox, can he get 99 speed? He can. That's three perfect first innings for Corbin Burns. And Bryce Harper's due up second here in the third. He's 0 for 1. I would love for him to be 1 for 2. Same with Tatis to do up first. And that's such a dot. Man, I, I almost felt like I was on that one more than some of the others that have struck me on so far. But, oh, I wish I could have swung and hit that. Bryce Harper, 1 and 0 to start his at bat. That's a st okay. I thought Nolan Ryan didn't have very good control. I thought the par on his four seam fastball was pretty big, but my opponent is just dotting my life away right now, painting those corners. Does Trout give us the lead? Yes, he does. That is a beautiful swing. We got a change up and we hit it with max power versus righties from this Mike Trout. Exactly why he's on this team. He has max power versus one side. And I'm kind of thankful after that home run off the righty Nolan Ryan that Mike Trout has max power versus right-handed pitching. Maybe I should go back to watching until two strikes too. It's not a terrible swing on the fastball. I'm just kind of happy I'm not watching it looking for strike three. And we have the lead after three. Sammy Sosa is going to grab that out number one to start the fourth. Striking out finest Cody Bellinger. Shout out to Texas, the Longhorns. My nephew actually goes to school at Texas. So I guess hook him horns. And there we go. It's four perfect innings from Corbin Burns. I don't really want to start jinxing it too early, but he's been dealing. And at this point, I'm just trying to get Bryce Harper up again. We have a lead. I would love to get more home runs, but I really want Bryce Harper to do something in his debut game. As maybe I should be looking for these fastballs on the corner away to righties. He's really been relying on that spot. But then I don't want to miss something up and in. Those are pretty hard to react to coming in at triple digits. Sammy Sosa with a leadoff single. Okay, this could be a good start to the bottom of the fourth inning for us. I thought Griffey went yard. Yo, we have just missed some of these with the max power. That's 125 max versus righties but with good timing i gotta get that pci right on the ball another one good timing pci near it but we just missed it that's already a handful of those in this video now we got two ounce following that leadoff single we're seeing if my number eight hitter nolan gorman could keep this fourth inning going and now we got a full count to nolan gorman runner will be going on the pitch nolan arenado is on deck and it's ball four. Okay, so we got two on, two down for Arenado. Let's try to get him his first base hit in this game. And it really seems like the key, at least to facing Nolan Ryan, is maybe just watch a ton of pitches because it's the fourth inning. He's already at 75 pitches, throwing a lot of balls. He's throwing a lot of strikes too. But we got a full count to Arenado. Runners will be going on the pitch, and then Tatis would be up. Oh, that would have been ball four. Man, I wish I would have laid off that pitch. We've had some great ABs, though. He's nearly at 80 pitches through four innings. We've got a lead. And Corbin Burns is going back on the mound before, once again, bottom half of the inning for us. That finest Harper will be due up second. No, the no-hitter. The perfect game. They're gone. Juan Soto probably not going to get him at second. And that's a leadoff double. Tying run already in scoring position. And we jam Nolan Gorman. Mike Trout, not a perfect throw home. Maybe I should have thrown to second. Even if that was a perfect throw, I don't know if we would have had him. We're tied at one all of a sudden. 
I guess I wish I could have that pitch back, but now we got to focus on keeping it tied at one. I don't really want to give up the lead. Uh, no, I'm not going to throw to third. We got 99 speed at first. I'm tempted to walk the next hitter, set up a double play from Charlie Blackman, but I might just go for the strikeout or maybe kind of unintentional. Do I put on bunt defense here? I can't. Uh, may, I, I guess in, infield in, that's kind of bunt defense, yeah. I, I guess that's maybe a decent move. That's fair? Okay, so we just we just lost the lead. All of a sudden, we're losing. Um, Sammy Sosa brings it into the infield. And now we're really looking for this double play. I'm surprised to even make contact on that one. And that's going to be out number two. As long as we can keep it at two to one, we'll be chilling. I like my chances. Bryce Harper would have a chance if Tatis gets on to give us the lead. But at least a chance to tie it in the bottom half. As long as we keep the score where it's at. Tim Raines coming up two to one, two outs. He's stealing, slide step, and it's in the dirt. We couldn't handle it with Jimmy Fox. Easy stolen base. And now we have a full count to Tim Raines. There's two outs. We got a base open to put him on first. And we do put him on first. So two on, two down. It brings back the top of our opponent's lineup. Jimmy Rollins, who is 0 for 2 to start this game. And there we go, Bryce Harper. Pretty good defense at first base. Unfortunately, we gave up a couple runs. We gave up the lead. But we also had my opponent making bad swings where we just got a little bit unlucky, which happens. That's part of baseball. Now we need to try to battle back. There's no clock. Our opponent has to get through all of these outs if he wanted to win this game. If Tatis could get on right now, Harper represents the go-ahead run. I hope it gets down. We're a little bit late on that inside pitch. Got to get good timing next time. And now Harper with a chance to tie the game. Still hitless. A strikeout and a ground down here in his debut. And that's ball four to Harper. Maybe a little bit scared of him knowing that he's the tying run. But look at Trout. He's two for two. Harper was 0 for two. Trout actually has my only run in this game with his solo home run. And we're a little bit behind that fastball. I thought we tied it up. I'm early. Oh, man. I think if we could have just been late and gotten jammed, we might have tied the game on that swing. That seemed to be working for my opponent. But no, I'm just playing. We got a 2-2 two and two count to Harper. It's been a good AB. I'm hoping we can score Bryce Harper from first. And that's strike three. Good pitch. Seriously, that 101, that triple-digit fastball from... Nolan Ryan has struck me out a few times now today, and it's the cleanup hitter, Lightning Juan Soto, our final hope in the fifth. And now we have a full count to Juan Soto. He just did the Soto shuffle, and it's ball four to him. So once again, we've got a righty up, tying run on second, go ahead run on first, two outs here. Bottom of the fifth inning, losing two to one. That was pitch number 100 on the day from nolan orion 44 of them balls out of the zone sammy sosa let's see what you can do two on two down and sammy lines out 109 off of the bat just straight to that first baseman after five we're still losing two to one i need a scoreless inning on the mound from corbin burns here he gave up the lead last time I don't really think we want to give up any more runs. Full count to Cody Bellinger, and it's ball four. Oh, man. Lead-off walk. That's probably not what we want to be doing here is putting somebody on base. He's stealing, but it's a foul ball. He's stealing, slide step. We got a swing and a miss, and we should have an out. Yeah, I'm not the best at pickles, but there we go. Uh, yo, can you please tag him? Yeah, I thought I thought he was going to just let him go straight by him and get a free base or something. That was m weird that he missed the tag when we had him right next to him, but it doesn't matter. We got the out anyways. And now we're trying to strike out Jose Ramirez as he fouls that one off. And there we go. Straight to Nolan Gorman. That's two outs now in the top of the sixth inning. I'm quickly down to my final 12 outs in this game. But like we said earlier, there's no clock in baseball. Our opponent would have to get all 12 of those outs before we would tie the game or take the lead. 
Cal Raleigh to Nolan Gorman, and he's making that play easily. We got him chasing a pitch inside. That cutter is seeming nasty from Corbin Burns. Ken Griffey Jr., Jimmy Fox, Nolan Gorman do up here in the third, facing a new pitcher, Tim Meza. So it's a lefty to face a couple lefties. He's got a sinker, a slider, and a four-seam fastball. Oh, I really thought I checked my swing there. Okay. Ken Griffey Jr. striking out. Now it's bringing up Jimmy Fox. That's a good swing, I guess. It's 102 off the bat. It's not going to tie the game. 70 speed. The tying run, though, is in scoring position. No. Nolan hey. Gorman. I've heard him called. Go ahead, Gorman. He's been go ahead, Gorman, for us a few times. Even lefty lefty. We know he has max power versus each side. He could still do some damage here. With one swing, he could be go ahead gorman and give us the lead 2-0 the count to start his ab and now we have a full count to nolan gorman and it, oh i thought it was ball four wow my opponent has really gotten me on some nasty pitches just painting those corners today i assume we're gonna see a righty coming in to face nolan arenado i don't think he's gonna leave tim miza in uh, we get to face bruise dar with two outs here bottom of the sixth still down by one but we have that one that tying run in scoring position oh i want this to tie the game yo see there's my jammed hit i think charlie blackman has kind of a noodle arm and look at that we tie the game see it all evens out eventually i guess i would much rather have my hard hit balls being the ones that are tying up the game but i'll take that there two to two now bottom of the sixth inning if Tatis could keep this two-ounce rally going, Harper would be coming up looking still for his first hits. But he did get on base. He drew a walk in his last plate appearance. And that's ball four to Tatis. We have two on, two down, tied at two for my number two hitter, who's over two. It's this 99 finest Bryce Harper. And we really would love his first hit right now. And he gets his first hit. It's 125 max power. And it's a three-run home run. Oh, my goodness, man. One of my best debuts in a while because I'm almost always going hitless. But not today. Bryce Harper on the max power versus at least one side team build. He's got max power versus righties. And he sends it out of here for a three-run home run. If y'all have made it this far in the video... Maybe let me know by dropping a like. Oh my goodness, that's such a good feeling as we have a 5-2 lead thanks to that go-ahead three-run homer from Bryce Harper. I, I, I can't even be mad about him dotting me up like that. These are just some impressive pitches from my opponent this game, but wow, another one. And Nolan Gorman, that's pretty clean looking on that card. The 22nd person in the world to parallel four. That's real nice looking. I think I was just maybe like the 47th or something the other day to get that card to parallel three. And Corbin Burns, he had a great game today, but it's time to go to the bullpen. A couple lefties do up in the inning, so we're going to bring in this Tyler Matzek card. And I thought I was going to be painting the corners. No, that's ball three. Oh, let's be careful to Nolan Gorman here on a full count. And we strike him out. There we go. And we strike out Tyler O'Neal. I had a really tough time facing this Tyler Matzik card. One of the first times I faced him this year. And that's the whole reason that I even put him in my bullpen is because I was struggling to hit against him. And then I realized... My opponents haven't been able to hit him very well either. He's got a 2.7 ERA, and he's one out away as Charlie Blackman missed his bunts, and then William Contreras comes in to pinch hit. He's one out away from a scoreless top of the seventh. And he just struck out the side, so he's doing pretty good for us in relief here. And I'm still just happy we got that three-run homer from Bryce Harper. I needed that. And then Juan Soto, perfect... Perfect, straight into the glove. Okay, that's out number one here. That's what our leadoff hitter does in the bottom of the seventh. Nice. And then Sammy Sosa. Oh, we just missed a perfect right there. We had the good timing. The PCI pretty much right on the ball, but with 125 power versus right-handed pitching, I guess we just need a little bit more if we want to send that for a home run. 
And that's a four pitch walk to Griffey. I think for the first three pitches, my hands were barely if even on the controller. We got two outs here. Bottom of the seventh, Jimmy Fox coming up now and Raleigh Fingers coming into the game. And Jimmy Fox, 108 off of the bat, a little bit late on that one. And it's a scoreless bottom of the seventh for us. We've got the lead after seven, five to two. And that's a leadoff single for Brian Reynolds here in the eighth. He's stealing. I don't know if we have him here. We don't. It's a stolen base for Brian Reynolds in his 82 speed. Full count to Tim Raines. And that is a perfect homer, making it 5-4. The game's not over yet. There's no clock in baseball. We still have a one-run lead. I got to be a bit more careful here. I don't really want to lose this game. And I'm thinking I'm going to try out this Rysel Iglesias card, this monthly awards version of him to face a couple switch hitters and a lefty and trying to get us out of the eighth inning with a lead still. Oh man, that's gonna be some warning track power from Jimmy Rollins. Juan Soto catches this for round number one. And we strike out Cody Bellinger, and I'm starting to realize once again, I think maybe I was saying this in yesterday's video, I need to stop throwing as many hard pitches because we can already see just how out in front of these off-speed pitches my opponent's been, and I need to probably stop throwing so many sinkers and fastballs just right in the zone for him to hit. And Jose Ramirez to Harper. We're three outs away from winning this game. Right now in the top of the ninth, a solo home run would tie it up. So we're going to do our best here. Bottom of the eighth inning to score at least one or two runs. Make it so a solo home run would not tie the game. Nolan Gorman leading us off with the base hit. As long as I don't ground into a double play, Bryce Harper is going to be getting at least one final at bat here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And I strike out with Arenado. Wait, I don't know if he's thrown the fork ball yet from Raleigh Fingers because that just caught me off guard. And now we really don't want Tatis to ground into a double play. Harper is sitting in that on deck circle. I will watch three straight strikes if I have to. And we have a full count to Lightning, Fernando Tatis Jr. And we strike out. That's a good sinker. That's a good sequence of pitches. Harper, one for three today, but that one is a big one. And he's already in a 1-0 count. Two outs, bottom of the eighth inning. Potentially my final batter of this game. And that is ball four. Harper's second walk. I guess you could say he's been on base three times, except one of those times, his hit, his home run. He wasn't really on base. He just ran around all of them and then back into the dugout after giving us the lead. We got two on, two down for Bryce Harper. I've left eight runners on base here in this game. I'm hoping we don't add on to that total. I'm hoping Mike Trout could just hit one over the fence. And then Mike Trout is going to make it so the bases are loaded for my cleanup hitter. Oh, this could end up being a big, big, big bottom of the eighth inning. It's Lightning Juan Soto, who's 0 for 2 in this game. Late. It was 106 off the bat, but we couldn't get good timing. And Juan Soto's underneath and early. Oh, just like that. Two of them over 100 off the bat foul, one late, one early. And then we go and strike out on a nasty fork ball. A home run ties this game. Let's not give up a home run. Let's just get the final three outs and get the win. And we strike out Cal Raleigh. Three pitches, one strikeout to start the top of the ninth inning. Okay, so Nolan Gorman, the tying run is on base with one out here. Top of the ninth inning. Who is that bringing up to bat? It's bringing up Tyler O'Neill, the lightning version of this card. He's 0 for 3. We're seeing Trey Turner, a pinch runner. We did get him chasing that pitch, and now we got to try to get a double play, but also watch for the steal. He's stealing slide step. I was holding down the steal button, but maybe I pressed it too early. Okay, well, now the tying run is going to be in scoring position on an 0 2 count to Tyler O'Neill. And we jam him, Harper, goal defense, making the play. 99 speed on its way home. 
And for whatever reason, Rysel Iglesias hesitated. He didn't just get the ball and throw it home, even though I had the throw loaded up. And now we are tied at five. I saw him rounding third. I loaded the throw. And I really thought he was just going to throw it right away and we would end the game on a double play right there. Man, that's not what we wanted to see. The pinch runner pays off and at least we're still tied. I'm going to try to keep it there. Top of the ninth inning, two outs now. Mookie Betts coming in. It's going to be the finest version of him. Here is a pinch hitter. And we strike out Mookie Betts, but unfortunately, we're actually going to have to hit in the bottom of the ninth inning. I would prefer not to go to extras. Let's see if our five, six, seven hitters could help walk it off. Just get us the win. Bottom of the ninth inning coming up. Raleigh fingers at 29 pitches. I assume we're going to see somebody new here for the bottom of the ninth inning. And lost connection with opponents. Wait, I better not get the loss here. I better not get the loss. I'm kind of sad I didn't get a hit for the win. We did get the win. Our first game of the season, this new season, we're starting off 1-0, up to 726. And I'm actually very happy with that debut for Harper. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like. Feel free to subscribe. We got daily uploads on the channel, including these on screen that you might enjoy. But I'll see y'all in tomorrow's daily upload. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Peace out.